We start this lecture with definition of bakes, then we cover flow separation, and then we discuss Struhal number. Designing a tidal current turbine farm, an engineer needs to consider development of a lake region. Let's consider a flow from left to right, and within this flow we have a tidal current turbine, for example, part of the tidal current turbine structure, which is a cylinder. Our approaching velocity is uniform, and I want to know what will happen and how this velocity profile will change behind the structure. I define my longitudinal axis as x, and behind the structure my velocity profile changes, and I have a region where velocity will be significantly reduced. Moving further downstream, and this region of reduced velocity becomes negligible. And connecting points of the reduced velocity region is your wake region. So within the wake region, we have deficit velocity, which is defined as the difference between approaching velocity and minus minimum velocity behind the structure. So with longitudinal axis, the deficit velocity delta u is reducing. So wake is a region of disturbed fluid downstream of a body where momentum transport is reduced. So it's a region of momentum deficit. This region may occur with or without flow separation behind the body. The flow properties within the wake are very dependent on how smoothly or otherwise the fluid passes over the body, whether the flow remains attached or whether the flow separates from the body. And in this example, I show two separation points and I define them with a capital S. So with experiments show that the measure of the wake region which is the size of the wake region, R is proportional to the longitudinal axis distance from, um, from upstream of the body, which is in power 1 over 3. And velocity deficit is proportional to the x in power minus 2 over 3. Therefore, with increase in x, the velocity deficit is reducing. The pressure behind the body is reduced and therefore we have pressure difference in front and behind the body and this affects our drag force. The drag force uh, can be found using a standard equation which you're probably familiar with where drag force is equal 0.5 multiplied by fluid density multiplied by drag coefficient multiplied by reference velocity in power 2, and this usually is taken as approaching velocity, and multiply by reference projected area. The weights behind turbines can damage turbines that are installed downstream and also can harm their productivities. Usually, the weights are not visible. However, in some conditions, they may be visible. For example, as on this uh, offshore wind farm west of Denmark. Let's see how flow pattern is developing in the wake region. Consider example of a 2D flow passing a circular cylinder of diameter D with all other solid surfaces far enough. The flow pattern will depend on the Reynolds number. We define Reynolds number as approaching velocity multiplied by diameter of the cylinder and divided by viscosity. So when we have small Reynolds number less than 0.5, for this case our inertia force are negligible and viscous forces are significant. So what happens in this case with low Reynolds number? The streamlines come together behind the cylinder. So the streamline is passing the cylinder and they're coming together behind the cylinder for small Reynolds number. Then with increasing Reynolds number, somewhere between 2 and 30, what happens? We have boundary layer 
that separates symmetrically from two sides at the positions which are called separation points on both sides. And two eddies are formed behind the cylinder. And these two eddies rotate in opposite directions. The eddies remain unchanged in position and behind the eddies streamlines come together and wake region is limited. So with further increase in the Reynolds number, what happens? The eddies become elongated and streamlines behind again come together. So this is for Reynolds number between 30 and 40. With further increase in the Reynolds number between 40 and 70, the arrangement becomes unstable and what happens? We have periodic oscillations of the wake is observed. So it's oscillation of the wake region. And this is for Reynolds number between 40 and 70. At limiting Reynolds number approximately 90, the edges break off from each side of the cylinder, alternating and washed downstream of the cylinder. And the wake region is significantly increased. The limit in Reynolds number depends on the turbulence level in the flow. It also depends on the cylinder shape and also depends on the um, availability of other solid surfaces within the close proximity to the cylinder. Experiments show that in the wake region behind two deep bodies, flow instabilities may occur leading to formation of a von Karman vortex street. A von Karman vortex street is a repeating pattern of swirling vortices caused by unsteady separation of flow over 2D bluff bodies. And body is called bluff body if its shape causes substantial flow separation. A vortex street will only be observed over a given range of Reynolds number. And this is an example of the vortex street, one Carmen vortex street pattern, flow pattern. And the Reynolds number, this here is defined as approaching velocity multiplied by diameter of the structure and divided by kinematic viscosity. One Karman vortex street is characterized by the Struchel number. Struchel number is defined as diameter of the structure multiplied by vortex shading frequency and divided by the approach velocity. One Karman vortices generate vortex induced vibrations due to fluctuating pressure drag that at some conditions, for example, resonance may lead to structural damage of the structure. I show here animation of vortex street created by a cylindrical object and the flow on opposite sides of the object is given by different colors. And you can see that it shows that the vortices are shared from alternating sides of the object, like green, purple, green, purple, and so on. Researchers found that for 2D cylinder exposed to uniform flow velocity, when Reynolds number is greater than 1000, Struchel number becomes constant and is equal to approximately 0.21. So from here, we can find the vortex shade and frequency for the structure. And frequency would be equal 0.21 multiplied by approach velocity divided by diameter. Researchers also found that when Reynolds number is within the range from 250 to um, 2 multiplied by 10 and power 5, the frequency can be found using this empirical equation. Engineers try to prevent formation of von Karman vortex streets because von Karman vortices generate vortex induced vibrations due to fluctuating pressure drag. Uh, that in some conditions may lead to structural damage. To prevent such damage, the design should assure that the expected shading frequency is well away from the natural frequency of the 2D structure. Example of design that 
um, uh, prevents formation of warm carbon vortices is the car area that is covered by spiral veins and these spiral veins prevent formation of warm carbon vortices. You probably also saw these spiral veins on chimneys and these are spiral veins again to prevent formation of von Karman vortices to ensure that there is no structural damage to chimneys. Other methods that can be used to prevent formation of von Karman vortices are uh, to design 3D structure. For example, uh, on this structure you can see that diameter D1 is smaller compared to diameter D2, so it's a 3D structure in addition to veins, so it's just to prevent formation of the von Karman vortices. Another way to consider preventing warm, formation of von Karman vortices is to design a structure that is porous, like in this example. To summarize, it's important to consider turbulence in the design. Large values of turbulence intensity indicate high level of turbulence, and this can increase risks of mechanical damage of the tidal current turbine. Wake is the region of disturbed fluid downstream of a body where momentum transport is reduced. In the wake region behind 2D bodies, flow instabilities may occur, leading to formation of a von Karman vortex street that is repeating pattern of swirling vortices caused by the unsteady separation of flow over 2D black bodies. And 2D black bodies are bodies shape of which creates significant flow separation. The von Karman vortex street can be characterized by the Struckel number. And finally, von Karman vortices generate vortex-induced vibrations due to fluctuating pressure drag that in some condition also could lead to structural damage. And to prevent such a damage, the design should ensure that expected shading frequency is well away from the natural frequency of the 2D structure.